This is the new January 2021 set, the Imperial TIE Fighter. Set number 75300, consistent of 432 pieces and three minifigs. This, is, this set is the smallest and most affordable TIE Fighter that's ever been released and cost $39.99 US and $69.99 Australian. This is the same old Stormtrooper with the new helmet mold. Cannot be turned without moving but has greater detail. The same single sided headpiece is used for this Stormtrooper. None there. And has the same blaster. The torso and leg prints are no different, not non exclusive, but a pretty good detail. Overall, alright minifig. Next is the NIL-8 droid. This minifig, I don't believe, is exclusive. Has nice printing on the legs and torso. Back as well. And has a nice head mold. Overall, a pretty good minifig to get with this set. Last but not least is the TIE Fighter Pilot. Again, non-exclusive. Single sided headpiece and the printing on the torso and legs is nothing new. Although it does represent the TIE Fighter fairly well, so it doesn't really need a change. Again, pretty good minifigure to get, especially seeing as it's a TIE Fighter. Minifigs wise, I reckon this set probably could have used an exclusive minifigure like the 2021 X-Wing set, but getting these minifigures is definitely not a waste. This set is great for playability and looks. Even though there aren't as many pieces as the UCS TIE Fighter, the set still looks great. As playability goes, there are two spring-loaded guns that are actually the correct colour for once. To use them, you just push down at the back. And in terms of swishability, it's pretty good. This set also comes with no stickers, so only prints, which is always a good thing. This Lego set is really great to build, with some fun techniques, and some people can say it gets repetitive with the wings, but it's not too bad. Overall, this set is worth the money. And I would strongly recommend, if a Star Wars fan, to go out and buy this Lego set. I would probably have to give this set a strong 7 out of 10. Thanks for watching. Bye.